right, welcome back to the Tech Corner. I'm George Silla, Senior Markets Contributor here with the Schwab Network. And this week, we're going to be focusing on technology giant Taiwan Semiconductor. Now, Taiwan Semiconductor is a leading global semiconductor manufacturing company with strong presence in multiple nations, including Taiwan, China, United States, Europe, and Japan. Now, the company is renowned for its proprietary wafer fabrication process, its mixed signal and radio frequency technologies. Its end products are integral to AI high-performance computing, smartphones, Internet of Things, automotive, and digital consumer electronics sectors. As a dedicated foundry, Taiwan Semiconductor offers comprehensive services, not only just manufacturing, but also packaging, testing, and support services. Now, TSM is not only a dominant player in the global foundry market, it holds a significant share in advanced 3 nanometer and 5 nanometer technologies. It also sells to major customers that we're familiar with, including Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom, and NVIDIA. Now, the majority of sales for Taiwan Semiconductor are actually in the United States, with approximately 75% in the North American markets, and only about 9% of those sales are in China. Now, when it comes to competition, a couple of domestic suppliers include Intel Incorporated as well as Global Foundries. Now, from a foreign standpoint, a major competitor includes Korean manufacturer Samsung Technologies. Now, the unique value proposition in TSM lies in its market leadership and advanced semiconductor manufacturing technologies and its extensive experience in high-volume production. It is the largest global dedicated chip manufacturer or foundry with roughly 67% worldwide market share. Strategic investments in expanding its global footprint, including new facilities in the United States, Europe, and Japan, will further enhance its competitive position by providing geographic diversification and addressing customer demand for advanced nodes. Now, in recent news, if we go back to March of this year, TSM announced an additional $100 billion investment in U.S. chip manufacturing. This follows April 2024's announcement of $65 billion. This is following President Trump's America First initiative to increase domestic manufacturing of semiconductors. Now, in mid-April of this year, the company posted first quarter 2025 EPS in sales. Sales were higher by 41.6% year over year to $25.5 billion, but they were down about 3% sequentially on a quarter over quarter basis. Net income was strong. It increased around 60% year over year, and gross margins for the quarter were higher by 58.8%. Net profit margin was also higher by 43% respectively. Now, when it comes to the second quarter guidance for this year, the company predicted $28.8 billion at the midpoint. That was higher by about $2 billion, considering the $26.8 billion previous estimated by analysts. The company also highlighted strong demand for both 3 and 5 nanometer technologies. Now, there are many positives to consider with Taiwan Semiconductor. First off, it dominates the global foundry market with, like I said, roughly 67% revenue share. This is significantly higher than its nearest competitor, which showcases its robust growth and prospects in AI chip demand. Now, despite recent market turmoil, TSN's strong technology leadership and customer trust mitigates risks with expectations of 25% upside in EBITDA growth. Now, on a trailing basis, for the full fiscal year last year, the company generated 34% revenue growth. This far surpassed the sector's growth of around 5%. And the company is expected to continue to grow its sales by 25% in the next four quarters. Additionally, its forward EPS growth stands at around 27%, indicating robust financial expansion. TSM also excels in profitability. When you consider EBITDA margins last quarter of 68%, net income margin around 41% over the last four quarters, this also far exceeds the sector's 4% net income margin, which highlights its scalable profit generating capability. Now, from a valuation standpoint, if we actually consider using the forward earnings multiple as a proxy, it's trading around 16 times this year's earnings. The sector median is around 19 times, and this is also below its five-year average around 22 times, which suggests right now that the stock may be considered undervalued. It's even trading at a lower multiple than the overall market averages, but it's growing far much faster. Now, there are some concerns for TSM that we have to address. First off, it faces volatility and uncertainty from tariffs which could impact global trade and demand. Now, CapEx guidance is crucial for assessing future growth expectations as new approach to diversify production geographically may add cost pressures with little additional revenue. The geopolitical risk of a Chinese invasion of Taiwan also prevents significant uncertainty for TSM, potentially disrupting global supply chains and affecting the company's operations. Future chip prospects are also challenged by potential slowdown in AI chip demand making the investment outlook on a forward basis more uncertain. 
Now, in general, foundries like TSM tend to add excessive capacity during times of burgeoning demand. This can unfortunately result in underutilization during downturns that hamper profitability. Now, from a technical analysis standpoint, TSM's momentum is mixed. Looking at a one-year price performance of higher by 18%, the year-to-date performance is down 20%. This indicates short-term challenges. The stock is also trading below its 50 and 200-day moving averages, as well as the 50-day moving average trading below the 200-day moving average. This indicates the intermediate-term price pattern remains bearish. However, when looking at a five-year weekly chart for reference, the stock has held its recent test of $135 support. This is an important area because it corresponds to resistance levels we haven't seen since August of last year, as well as the beginning of 2022's bear market. This suggests the long-term trend remains intact. Now, from an indicator standpoint, using the weekly RSI, we can see that it's above 40 and rising. This also suggests the technical picture is improving alongside the broad market. Now, in summary, despite the fact that TSM could be impacted by new restrictions on U.S. technology exports, tariffs, and the developing trade war, which present new uncertainties, the company is demonstrating solid secular growth, and its core foundry business remains intact. Now, the company's commitment to innovation and manufacturing excellence over the years has positioned TSM as a vital player in the global semiconductor supply chain. As generative AI moves into the mainstream and electronic device demand increases for years to come, All right, that does it for this week's edition of the Tech Corner. Please like and subscribe to the Schwab Network. I'm George Tillis. Thanks for watching.